Do you know 6 in 10 Canadians, they are paying thousands of dollars in extra fees or penalties to their lenders, banks and credit unions and getting ripped off every day? Guys, my name is Jimmy Singh. I'm the broker owner of Supermax Realty and my goal is to help Canadians save thousands of dollars whether buying and selling real estate. So today's question was asked by one of my clients and he's shopping around for mortgages and asked me, should I go for fixed or variable? And uh, there's two components to it, friends. Whenever you go to banks, mostly we focus on interest, uh, whether it should be variable product or fixed, but penalty is a big component. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about two things. When you guys go to a bank or a, uh, maybe, you know, a lawyer to sign mortgage documents, you know, this, this thick bundle or 20 pages, nobody reads all the documents and they are not explained property, uh, properly about penalties, collateral mortgages or no finance clause. And most of the bankers, just like lawyers, they represent the lenders. Uh, I give you a very simple example. So let's say if somebody has a mortgage balance or seeking a mortgage of roughly 400,000 and for variable mortgages, uh, it is three months interest per, uh, you know, uh, penalty or uh, a rule of thumb, which I give to my clients is 0.5% of outstanding mortgage balance. So let's say your mortgage balance is 400,000. Your variable mortgage penalty should be 2000. And if you have a fixed mortgage, it is interest differential. And uh, I give my clients rule of thumb. Anytime you're selling or breaking a mortgage or you're signing a document uh, for fixed, it, it is between four to four and a half percent of the loan amount. So you, as you uh, see in this example, mortgage balance of 400,000 multiplied by four or a four and a half percent gives you a penalty of 16 to $18,000. Guys, I've been helping my clients for the last 15 years. And let me tell you, anytime I list a property or sell any buyer a home, I tell them go through a fine tooth comb, through all the mortgage documents to know how much the penalty is. Don't get fixed on the uh, interest rate only. Because when you're signing documents, banker is not going to tell you this is your penalty because their loyalty is to the bank. So I give you the formula today. If it's a variable mortgage, the penalty is 0.5% of the mortgage amount. In this case, 400,000, the penalty is 2,000. And for a fixed rate mortgage, the penalty can be between four and a four and a half percent. That is 16 to 18,000. And the difference you can see is probably like 12 to 14,000 between variable and a fixed mortgage. So what I propose to you is get a variable mortgage, guys. Variable beats fixed anytime for the last 15 years the clients who have variable mortgages they have one big time so get a variable mortgage and tell a bank to take the payments of fixed interest rate so basically let's say today's fixed is 2.99 and uh, variable is 2.20 so make sure to pay the mortgage fast you keep the payment as a fixed but get a mortgage which is variable you'll save tons of money and I have seen my clients pay the mortgage fast. And uh, obviously, if you're selling your house, you should be also aware of CMHC premium. If you're doing 5% down, your premium can be close to 4%. And if you're doing 10% down, your premium is 3%. So that is also extra added cost when you're buying a house. So be a knowledgeable client. And because I believe a knowledgeable client is our best client. If you have any questions, you know where to get me, www.supermax.ca and my cell phone number is 647-961-2639. To your success, cheers.